No doubt that the biggest problem that I encounter when I'm teaching students on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's online students or whether it's somebody who comes to visit through that door right there, is the functionality of the trail arm. And what often happens is golfers get this very, very wrong. They end up over-swinging, over-moving the arms, and they're always very surprised by actually how little you need to move your arms in the golf swing. And that's what we're going to talk about. Now, we're going to start with the way that we hold the club. And what we want to do is we want to understand, I posted a drill on the channel the other day where I talked about the idea of a great exercise to get the feeling of what your right hand should do is hold the club like you normally do and then separate the fingers on the right hand and just hit some shots like that where that right hand supports that impact position. So just even if you can only go back sort of halfway and then through, keeping that hand in contact with that club is a really nice feeling. And then what you'll start to do is, you'll, well, what you'll stop doing is overpowering the golf swing with that type of drill. Now, in today's video, I want to talk more about this setup position. And if my trail hand moves to the side of the club like so, what should happen is that basically my right arm should be nice and soft. So you can see that whether my right hand's not sitting on top like so, you can actually see more of my right forearm. See where it is. It's almost like I'm not saying it's coming underneath, but it's coming more to the, not necessarily even to the side, it's coming slightly underneath the club. So my thumb, my trail thumb still moves over to the lead side of the club, but you can see the way that this gets this arm nice and soft. The benefit of that is that the big move that you're trying to introduce in this takeaway is what's known, I suppose, as an external rotation, but really just a folding of the right arm. So you can see if I bring my arm up to, let's just do it at 90 degrees, and then I rotate it to the side of me, that's the kind of feeling that you want to have when it comes to that takeaway motion. Because when you can do that, and you can move that arm in that sort of uh, pattern like so, then all you need to do from this position to complete the swing is just rotate. Okay, now this is a big problem because what often happens with most amateur golfers, instead of sequencing the swing like that, where you move your hands and arms to the side of you, a little bit of chest turn, see my shoulders become nice and tilted. What happens with most golfers is you start turning too soon. And if you start turning too soon, then all of a sudden you're not gonna be able to move your arm as I demonstrated. Now you're gonna be forced to lift the club up. And when you lift the club up, you end up in what's known as a state of internal arm rotation, which means that you're more this way. And then all of a sudden, you've got no proper wrist angles, you've got nothing. And I meet a lot of students that reach out for help and they kind of say, well, my wrist positions, they've been trying all sorts of different stuff to manipulate it, but the reality is it's an issue with your sequencing. So what you're trying to do is get that arm nice and soft in that setup position. And then what you're trying to do is allow that arm to fold to get that club moving back into that takeaway position. From here, then you can turn, and then from there, you can turn as you release that arm coming into the downswing, which is going to give you really, really good results. And it's really simple, and you'll be surprised if I do it from face on, boom, boom, and turn. You'll be surprised how well you can hit the ball without even having to think about a massive backswing position. This is something that I work on all the time. I'm somebody who loves golf but doesn't get a huge amount of time to play or practice, but still enjoys playing and therefore eliminating as many or, you know, eliminating as many unnecessary moving parts is a fascination for me as a golf coach, but also as a fascination for me as somebody who enjoys trying to play the game with an element of consistency. So work on it. Let me know. I'll see you soon.